So hi guys, welcome on board Kilo Mike Niner and we'll move towards another video. In this video, I'll show you the gas combustion unit that is the GCU. You can see from the screen that is the GCU. You can see here also that's the GCU system, that's the burner. So how actually a GCU looks like on an LNG carrier, on this large LNG carrier. I will show you what all is there. So to see what all is there in the GCU like the GCU burner and where the LNG is burning, the boil of gas is burning, that area we will see. GCU is operated by gas engineer on board and he is the one who is taking care of running the GCU and maintaining the GCU. So I will call the gas engineer on board to introduce you and familiarize you with the GCU and how actually GCU looks like. I want to invite uh, gas engineer Saurav Sina. Excuse you further. Hi Hello, sir. sir. How are you? Today? I am good sir. I am good. So, so sir, today yeah. I wanted you to show the viewers that uh, what all is here, there in the GCU and how the BOG is burning in the GCU that is the gas combustion unit. He is Saurav Sina gas engineer on board this large LNG carrier. So he will familiarize us with everything. Thank you very much Kusok. So today we will talk about GCU. So GCU on an on a LNG carrier that is required to control the pressure in the tank. So as we load the cargo at some certain temperature during the passage, the pressure of the cargo is increasing. So the first thing that we have is the reliquification plant. We try to uh, reliquify the boil of gas convert it into liquid and put back in the tanks. But if the pressures are increasing more and the relic plant alone is not able to uh, control the pressure of the tank, then we put GCU in use. GCU stands for gas combustion unit where we burn boil of gas to like maintain the tank pressure. So it can be run in free flow mode and it can also be run in excessive bog mode that we will talk about it later. Uh, just I will give you a brief intro on the screen what is here on the GCU side. So here GCU, uh, you can see this flame, this is boil of gas is burning. So in GCU we have two combustion air fan, two dilution air fan and these are the flame detectors. And here we have the duty pump. For starting the GCU, uh, first we start oil pilot that is firing of the diesel oil with the help of these two pumps, either of the pumps. So first oil pilot will fire. Okay, so now once the diesel oil pilot is firing, then we start sending the boil of gas through this master gas valve, BOG valve. And from here the BOG is coming here and once the BOG uh, flame is stable, then we switch off the oil pilot. So uh, you can see the BOG flame that is little bit bluish in color. We will go in the local side as well and see. So guys, you have seen how the GCU is operating remotely from these screens. So we'll show you how actually it looks like. So we'll go to the local side and show you uh, the original operation, the main operation of the GC And so, the flame. And the flame. So without wasting any more time, let's go. Okay. This is the dilution air fan. 
other side, other dimension air fan. So whatever is burnt, whatever is burnt, oil of gas with the help of combustion, with the help of air, it is given by the combustion air fan that is downward and we have this dimension air fan that is adding extra air to reducing the temperature of the exhaust gases and then it is going outside to the atmosphere. So guys, you can see how big this thing is and how the fire inside the GC room and the small solar concentrators or in the function of this room. It's quite noisy over here because the trains are running, the lighting of your trains are running and uh, I hope